All right. So there has been a tragedy that's happened today in the United States, in Orlando, Florida. And there's also something very negative that's happened in West Hollywood, Los Ca uh, California. Prior, a few hours prior to the beginning of the Pride Parade, where someone, uh, there could have been a repeat of what happened in Orlando, Florida, but in this case, the community was vigilant, um, the person was apprehended, and no one was hurt at all, showing the effectiveness of law enforcement in this situation. But because of these two events, and because of the fact that, although probably not mentioned at this gay club, like every gay club in America, there are bisexuals there. So many of the dozens of people who lost their lives were most likely bisexual. And already bisexuals have an unfortunate situation of living in fear often. Living in fear about what would happen if someone finds out they're bisexual. Living in fear of um, how it would affect their life and how it would affect their safety. So with this event going on and you perhaps thinking, well, I'm bisexual, I've been to a gay club, this could have been me. I wanted to offer a perspective um, that might help you in this time of confusion. And that is, this is a moment for compassion. This is a moment for sympathy. This is a moment to ask yourself what I could do, what could I do to make a situation better or to ensure that this doesn't happen again. This is not really an opportunity to be fearful, even though you might say, well, I've been to a gay club. Um, that could have been me. Uh, so yet another reason for me to withdraw and to go in and hide who I am. If you feel that, I ask you, how many hours in a week is a gay club open? or a same-sex club of any type. Take that number and multiply it by the number of same-sex clubs that are in your city, or in your county, or in your state or providence, or in your country, or in the world. And then ask yourself, how many instances like this have ever occurred? In the United States, that number is one. So out of all the hours that every possible gay, lesbian, or any other club might have been open, this one incident happened during those hours in that one particular club. So if this inspires fear in you that you should hide more, I say, no, that's not the lesson of today. You are safe. You will continue to be safe. This is an anomaly for the for the LGBT community, for the same-sex community, and even for the United States of America. This is an anomaly. And you might think, well, sure, but what this does remind me of is how that there are people out there that really hate us and that want bad things to happen to us. And in that, I want you to consider a couple of recent studies that have come out. There's a study that came out June 1st of 2016 that looked at the United States and the attitude towards same-sex behavior from 1972 to 2014. In 1972, the poll was given to 32,000 people and the result was that only 11% of the American population thought that same-sex behavior was at completely acceptable. 11% in 1972. It was done, the same study was done in 1990, and that number only went up by 2% during that time period. However, the same study was done in 2014, and a whopping 49% have said that same-sex behavior is completely acceptable. What does this mean? That means that the world, in the United States specifically, is changing dramatically, especially recently. Times are changing. The level of acceptance for bisexuality and for bisexual behavior is increasing tremendously. Not only that, there was another Pew study released in March of, of May of 2016 looking at attitudes towards same-sex marriage. They looked at it in 2001, and at that time, only 35% of the American population supported same-sex marriage. But in March of 2016, 
that number is up to 55%. That's a 20% increase in just 14 years. And then they broke it down into religious affiliation, to ideology, uh, to race, and a bunch of other categories. And every single one, whether their person considers themselves to be conservative, whether a person considers themselves to be Republican, whether, they consider, whether they're black, no matter what the group is that are often thought of as being discriminatory, every single group has gone up by 10%. By 10%. And it's also, there's also another study done where they show that whenever same-sex becomes legal in a particular state in the United States, the number of acceptance, the percentage of acceptance jumps, jumps dramatically afterwards. And now that it's accepted throughout the whole United States, those numbers will be jumping quite quickly um, everywhere. So you might think from this incident that, you know, there are groups out there that don't like us, but that's not the way of the world. The way of the world is that acceptance towards bisexuality is increasing exponentially. This, it's never been a better time in the world to be bisexual. And little instances like this are tragic. And there are opportunities for us to ask, you know, what is it that we can do to make a change and make things better? But it's not an opportunity to, to be more fearful. It's not an opportunity to feel like a victim. Because we have nothing to fear. And we are not a victim. But if you ask yourself, what is it that you can do because you're not in Orlando, Florida, you can't give blood, consider doing this in solidarity to those people who have felt tragedy today. Consider coming out as bisexual to one additional person, showing your courage, showing that you won't be made afraid by this. Or if you're in a same-sex relationship, consider holding your same-sex partner's hand for a little longer than you would have otherwise. These are the things that you can do to make your situation better now and in the future. So when other people today are feeling heated because of the events that have happened and feeling depressed and feeling lost, please stay cooler, my bisexual friend. Stay cooler.